Welcome to our Sunday special. The first African student to win the prestigious Entrepreneur of the Year Award at the Birmingham City University's IMBCU Awards since 1843 is a Nigerian. Or well, the mission born Daniel Akintola made history with Innovation OH Prime TV, the first free to view TV streaming service. In this Sunday special, senior reporter Olawa visited the family house of the tech genius in Mushi to unravel the genesis of the discovery. This is the Mushi community in Lagos. <laughs> In the past, it was a haven for hooliganism and cultism, a breeding ground for notorious youth. But in this disreputable state, many reputable individuals with outstanding ideas have come out of the locality. Over 17 years ago, amid the chaotic situations in this area, a young man decided to bury himself in a cyber cafe for many nights to develop many innovations. One of the outstanding ideas that was later built into this first free-to-view TV streaming service called OH Prime TV, offering over 450 premium channels on 59 digital platforms made history in the United Kingdom. I came across the news of the brilliant Nigerian who is a co-founder of the platform Making Africa Proud in the UK. Daniel Akintola, an accounting graduate turned tech guru. He is the first African to win the 2024 IMBCU Entrepreneur of the Year Laurel since the establishment of the school in 1843. I had an opportunity of a virtual interview with the award recipient who is currently studying at Birmingham City University in the UK. Daniel Akintola, the CEO of Danny Brooks Technology, explained to me how he was raised by his mother after losing his father at the age of six. I was raised by a virtuous widow mom who gallantly and took pride in wearing rags just for her to be able to afford an after-school tuition of a tutorial center in those days in motion there used to be a popular school that you will say in the category of motion rating you could say that was a school where the children of the family de la cream of motion were attending then in those days, the fellow group of schools, and my mother couldn't afford to send me to that school, but the school had an after school tutorial center. So my mother would rather wear rags mm. to be able to afford to, the tuition of that after school tutorial center. As tough as life was for Daniel, he continued to strive for a pathway to success even in the heat of hazard. His cyber cafe experience got to me. How can I forget the memories of those years when I would go to cyber cafe to research on a noble idea I was working on and the managers of those cyber cafe in the wheels of the hours would call, go to the toilet to call the police in motion over that or that should be ready. So back in motion in those days, reading of cyber cafe by police officers was corruptly lucrative. So whether you are there for a legit motive or those the Yahoo Yahoo boys of those days who are there, everybody was to be raided together. It was from the four walls of cyber cafes doing night browsing that the idea of what I God has ever to do today was incubated. His persistence and doggedness got him to the Redeemer's Christian Church of God, the right collaborator for the invention in 2021 that catapulted him to global fame in 2024. During COVID, RCCG had a phenomenal problem. There was a ministerial partnership event that they usually held, dinner events with the GEO, and they had 
a issue about how would they be able to converge people during that lockdown. So we were invited to make it happen, and through the use of technology, we made that happen. Mm -hmm. Telepresence and the like and video streaming technology, it was as a result of the huge success of that particular project that in 2021, we were then invited to come to the table that, okay, there had been a project of the mission that they had earlier on thought of. Mm -hmm. Initially, the mission had the goal of taking the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ beyond the border walls of Nigeria mm -hmm. and to make it reach anywhere in the world. But the approach with which they conceptualized the idea from the beginning, we saw the need to tweak it and to polish it, rebrush it. They earlier gave the project to a service provider. Being brought from the U.S., they didn't understand the environmental peculiarity mm -hmm. of Nigeria. When we came in, into the picture, then we overhauled everything and scrapped everything and built something new from the scratch. So we understood the marketing dynamics that, okay, give people premium contents. Let it be lag free It should not buffer. And at the same time, make it accessible anywhere they turn to. It's either for the rich who have smart televisions or those who just have mobile phones or those who do, don't even have mobile phones who can only afford an Android stick or an Android TV dongle. Two things came to my mind during the interview to validate this claim. One was to hear from his aged mother if there was any special situation attached to his birth while the second was to explore the features of the OH Prime TV. I chose the second option. In the comfort of my workplace, I brought out my phone to check if truly what Daniel explained about the streaming platform was authentic. And my discovery got me glued to the few channels I could explore from the hundreds. I just discovered that I have access to more than 400 free channels ranging from faith-based channels to news to sports to movies to business to lifestyle to knowledge to our healing music kids and teens name it this is quite interesting free without subscription i now see why I was able to come home with this award to unravel the level of effort put into these platforms that has made history globally, I decided to visit Daniel's mother. Locating the house where Mama currently resides in the Palm Grove area of Lagos was not a Herculean task as Daniel's elder brother was on hand to help us navigate our way through. This is Mrs. Deborah Akintola, Daniel's mother. She was already dressed for the interview. Mama welcomed me with prayers. This was an indication that she would have prayed her son into the success that he has attained in the UK. Mama gave me the story of how she had to sacrifice everything to train Daniel the last born of the house through school when her husband died. Odun mefa lo wa ti baba ya won fi shalaisi asan traisha bunu ka se ewa utili bunu ka se ka ka lo koko gari ka lolo ka fi se lebu ka sa je unsa kinu kinu ke bi ma pa wa sha asan gbin oju gbugbu esha ni o fi nse gbugbu she told me that Daniel was a normal child who was born on a Sunday but had a passion for greatness. Mama admitted that she only played her motherly role by guiding and fervently praying for him to succeed in all his endeavors. <laughs> After a robust conversation with Mama, I requested to visit the family house in Mushin where Daniel grew up. 
and Mr. Emmanuel Akintola offered to take us to the place where the story started from. On our way, he showed me the primary school and secondary school that Daniel attended in Mushi, not too far from the house. Finally, we got to the family house on Olashe in the streets, a house that had been standing tall for many decades. Unlike many family houses in Mushi that have been sold out and rebuilt, this particular house still maintains its vase value. Mr. Akintola walked me through the significant corners of the house as he showed me the very tiny room where Daniel Akintola lived to incubate the ideas that have now given him global recognition. Right from this dark path here, in the family house where Daniel Akintola grew up, was where the concepts that has brought him global recognition started from. When Daniel was um, conceptualizing the idea, little did he know that the idea would not only impact positively humanity, but bring him global excellence and make African history in the United Kingdom. He explained to me that the house has produced many great family members who saw the abode as a small London when a majority of his cousins relocated from the village to Lagos to reside. And the latest celebrity that has eventually put the house in the global spotlight is Daniel Akintola. Basically doing well in IT feet down, but I think it was born out of we the desire to create something that will impart life. Why others were using the avenue to do other vices? They were making contact. They were tapping into how they can acquire knowledge. And by so doing, over a year, he acquired the knowledge. Daniel, being the last born of the house, was practically fathered by Mr. Emmanuel Akintola, who is the second of the four children. He told me how growing up was tough, but Daniel never relented in striving for greatness. He was quick to advise Nigerian youth to believe in themselves. Among from where we were one to, he kept saying one thing, what your humanity won't she? Which boiled down to integrity we build. Not that we don't have friends that smoke, that drink, that does all vices, but we are all trained that we should work for tomorrow. And the integrity matters. For as many that are indulging in such, there is still room for them to change and turn a better life. Better life is ahead. I was also privileged to see the family sitting room of the house where their grandfather lived and imbibed the communal love among his descendants. I saw the picture of Pa Daniel Oluwashiung Akintola who died in 1976. Daniel the genius was named after him as he practically bears all Papa's names. Maybe he came back to accomplish what he could not achieve during his lifetime. The award won by Daniel Akintola recognizes boarding and seasoned entrepreneurs who are making waves in the business world or supporting others to develop an entrepreneurial mindset. As the current winner of the Entrepreneur of the Year, Daniel Akintola will now be championing the university's science, technology, engineering, art and mathematics STEM agenda by identifying gaps in the market and working out groundbreaking products and services geared towards developing the Birmingham City University business venture and make it a success. History is made from this house. Daniel Akintola's award has no doubt put Mushi on the global map for good. The African history made in the UK is a form of inspiration to Nigerian youth that their immediate environment should not be a limitation to the greatness that they want to attain in life. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.